Alright, this is the uh, Jones Party, or should I say Keeping Up With The Jones Party, or Party for Jones County Junior College. So, as you heard from earlier, I have decided to go ahead and go to Jones College. Uh, I've already been accepted, and I just had to send them uh, the records, that's about it, before I start class. But... My orientation is set for the 2nd of May, and that was right before I broke into the story about um, Chris Brown is going to be facing uh, charges, and that was uh, talked about earlier. So I'm going to get that story again and talk about that a little bit later. But right now, let's get the show started on the Big D Zone and the Keeping Up With The Joneses party. On the Big D Zone. Here we go. Oops. I said here we go. Congress shall make no laws respecting an establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peacefully to assemble and to petition the government for a reckless all grievance. And it's time to party down with the best citizens of the net today. Citizens of Big D Nation. And, well, I thought I wasn't going to have a show today because I did have a meeting. Uh, actually, I had a meeting at 2 o'clock with the Mississippi Rehabilitation Service. I'll share with that uh, in about later on during the program. And I got so frustrated about this uh day burn weekly high school thing that i decided to already go to a college that already set to me and all they needed to tank was right before uh uh i start classes so if that's the case then i might as well go there so it's joan college it is i'm not an ego i'm a bobcat so bobcat rules here we go on the big d zone Let's start early.
outside and it made me miss ya. Oh, so bad, cause dreams last for so long. Here you are, do you go?
whole life, people have been telling me what I could do and couldn't do. I've always listened to them, believed in what they said. I don't want to do that anymore. Okay, Mr. Rudy. Here's the deal. All across junior colleges nearby, I can get you one semester there. You make grades, you get another semester. Then maybe with a high enough GPA, you might have a chance of getting into Notre Dame.
I'm better than I love Mr. Lewis. 
Paved every lie that I ever told Paved for every heart that I ever stole I played my cards and I didn't fold Well, it ain't that hard when you got soul This is my world Somewhere I heard that Life is a test I've been through the worst But I still get my best God made my mold different from the rest Then he broke that mold So I know I'm blessed Stand up now and face the sun Won't hide my tail or turn and run It's time to do what must be done Be a kid when you don't care So you can tell everybody Yeah, you can tell everybody Go ahead and tell everybody I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man So you can tell everybody Yeah, you can tell everybody I got all the answers to your questions. I'll be the teacher, you could be the lesson. I'll be the preacher, you be the confession. I'll be the quick relief to all you stressing. It's a thin line between love and hate. Is you really real, love is you really fake? I'm a soldier, standing on my feet No surrender, I won't retreat Stand up now and face the sun Don't hide my tail, I'll turn it around It's time to do what must be done Be a king with kingdom come So you can tell everybody If you can tell everybody Why you go, go, 
That's why to her the fight. I am officially a bobcat, but well, I will be soon after the orientation. Um, but other than that, uh, after the wild, uh, wild runaround, I've decided to already go to the place that's already set to me, which is Jones, Ju uh, Jones Community Junior College over in Ellisville, Mississippi. Now, yes, it is an hour away, but you know what? I gotta do something because it looks like the power that be is really making it hard for the dreams to come too. But you know what? 
in the middle of all this, we will rise up above it. And I was playing in the middle of the, not only the uh, joint session with iHeartRadio, but this is going to be a short show. Ladies and gentlemen, this month is officially Keeping Up With The Joneses Month in honor of Jones, Ju uh, Jones Community Junior College. I say that three times fast. And you can tell my on my voice that I'm very frustrated. I should be happy by about now. But uh, the fact of the matter is, I probably will be once I'm able to get calmed down. And the, uh, the orientation is uh, uh, off and running. But anyway, the orientation is set for May 2nd. Starting with the tour at 1 o'clock. Then the orientation. And then I'm taking their uh, compass testing. But it's a different kind of test that I'm really uh, upset with because I couldn't take it local. So I'll tell you more about this right after this. We're in the middle of the uh, first day of the Keeping Up with the Joneses party. Uh, this is going to be a series of parties for the uh, uh, brand new college that I had just decided after all the madness of trying to go to Meridian Community College in Operation Being Eagle. Here it is going on the 3rd of uh, April. And the frustrating part about the whole thing is uh, the uh, the the people at Meridian Community College were trying to call the uh, the school, uh, Weekway High School, and just like when I was trying to call, they either get answer machines or the person not there. I mean, it's like a month of run around, month of run around, and 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 I just said, you know what, Jones College already accepted me. All that the all that they need is the uh, transcript from uh from uh where I where I've been to and um. They already accepted me, so uh, even if I can't start right away in one semester, then they could, I just did another application for the fall semester, so it'll already be on file so by the time they get the day for a transcript. And I am trying to look into scholarships that I can help pay for my classes 
Uh, just in case the push comes to shove where I can't get financial aid. Uh, but because of the powers that be making all these stupid rules, that makes it even harder for somebody to try to go to a college close by the area. Now, I gotta wind up going an hour away, which is uh, Elias, uh, Ellisville, Mississippi. And, oh, uh, thank you, Once Pure, by the way, and Andrew, uh, Andrew Zodiac 12, and also the uh, ally, Andy Bong of the Andy Bong Show. And, um, we are also, we are also, uh, simulcasting on iHeartRadio, but there's going to be a short show. Uh, after I finish with the talking and the ranting, I'm going to play just a couple more songs, and I'm going to hit the sack. But, I'm going to tell you about this meeting that I had with the Mississippi, uh, Rehabilitation Service. So, Mississippi Rehabilitation Service helped people with disabilities such as myself not only get a job, but also in case that they need uh, education. Uh, they help pay for uh, tuition expenses, they help pay for books, and in some cases, they help pay for uh, room and bo uh, help pay for the room only. So I went with the meeting, you know, with open mind, hoping that uh, everything get done. I don't didn't need anything else. Uh, I I was hoping to get like an orientation uh, to Mississippi Rehab uh, Rehab Services. But come to find out, I was presented with a list. Now I already gave them what the, what they need partially. And I had to wind up uh, reordering another, uh, no, re getting another letter from uh, Jones Community College, Jones uh, County Com uh, Junior College. And you can hear the frustration in my voice because it's always something. So, uh, but uh, they need a, uh, uh, my acceptance letter with my ID on the morning. So, okay, so I got to wait for that. Uh, no problem, because they, they was going to send me another letter anyway. And so after I get the letter, if that wasn't so frustrating enough, I found out that I had to take some kind of test, not, not the compass uh, test, but not the ACT. It's some kind of test that they give um, over at the Mass Rehabilitation Services. But instead of allowing me to take the test in um, Meridian, Mississippi, I had to take the test in Jackson, Mississippi. And they said the test will be probably either two or three hours, being that I got to go an hour back and forth. When I already got to go an hour back and forth to um, Ellisville, and then I'm going to go through the tour. And believe me, I saw the map of Jones uh, County Junior College. It is huge. It is a city within a. It is big. I wish that I was on a camera right now that I could show you the map how big it is. It is a. It is another city. You wouldn't even think that it's a junior college. You would think that it was the, that it's a senior college. You would easily get lost there so um but I'm gonna be able to do uh, at least those things on the same day and they need a copy of my compass test I mean it's always something but as far as these transcripts are concerned you're spending money spending money on mail and then waste the time waiting when it takes a whole month for the transcripts to get to a particular place. I'm going to have gray hair by the time I start classes at Jones uh, Community Junior College. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely, positively ridiculous. Who is the politician that made these daggone rules to try to make the thing harder for us to attain our college degree. If they want us to get jobs, then they burn it, make it easier for the process 
of getting admitted to a college because not only that these transcripts is pricing people out but now you gotta put in travel time like you're going to a basketball game or a football game or whatever like that and out, out of state I mean this this is absolutely insane I mean I should be part of it that thank goodness I'm gonna have a lot more shows throughout the whole month partying uh, keeping up with the Joneses and uh See, I wish I was able to have a three-hour show, but I was, uh, eventually I wasn't going to do a show. I was going to wait until tomorrow, uh, to start the party. But, uh, I guess I might as well get it partly started and then do another one tomorrow. Uh, I know I, I, know I like to do radio because radio is my therapy, but, but when you get knocked down and it seems that all that people want to see you do is to give up. That's what they want to. That, that's what they want you to do. They want you to give up, and then they're gonna. Then they're gonna tell me some things about. Oh, oh. Uh, one of the one of the uh, persons at the meeting was telling me. Um, even though people may have degrees, it's hard to uh to find a job. Well, it's hard enough to find a job even without a degree. But most jobs, when you look at the one ad in the papers or even in some of these stations. They said college degree preferred or must have a BA degree or AA degree. So you have to have some kind of college. But then order a transcript and the time it takes to get to the daggone place. It is really insane. It shouldn't take a long time to get the part order process. It, 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 it is really ridiculous. And here, I was also supposed to be talking about Chris Brown. And how he, um, how he, uh, uh, violated probation. Uh, and, uh, Washington, uh, the, uh, I guess he's already either on his way to Washington or D.C. or already there to face charges. And, uh, let's just say he's not getting out of prison anytime soon. Uh, he had his, uh, girlfriend, Rihanna, uh, who he, um, assaulted, um, back in, um, back in, uh, like, 08, 09. That was back when I was in New Jersey. Uh, and it was very wrong because, uh, even, even though both of them is pretty good singers, um, Chris Brown had a lot of backlash off of, off of, um, how he treated Rihanna. And um I think that I think that um Rihanna is gonna find somebody else and uh I think that she is gonna move on. And by the way, if you're looking for somebody Rihanna, Big D Country, right here. Uh look up Big D Country, the Facebook page, Deshaun Porter, uh Deshaun Dot Porter and the Big D Zone. I'm right here, I'll give you a lot of airplay. Just like I did earlier, I played your song Unfaithful. But anyway, um, yeah, so, anyway, uh, I would like to say that, wow, it comes to the point that I don't even know what to say. I mean, they still, number one, they still can't find the Missy 370 plane, uh, 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 Flight 370. And it's almost going on about a month. The families are outraged. And I don't blame them. Let's just say I don't blame them. Uh and in other new and uh other news like uh the Knicks are in the playoffs, which is very shocking to me. And the Nets are in the playoffs. Uh, and a lot of people are talking about the Nets are going to do uh, very well this year in the playoffs, and we will see. And people are saying that the uh, the the Knicks can't, still can't play, even though they uh 
they score the tickets to the playoffs, and they're going to be in there. So that's another one we'll see. I mean, you know, I I I, I just don't like my dreams being knocked down, and then having my spirits broken in the middle of having to do a broadcast when I love to entertain my citizens of Big D Nation. And exactly, exactly. I agree with you 100% and the Zodiac. And because, because I was talking the other day about Paul Ryan's uh, $5 trillion. Yeah, that's what it was. It was $5 trillion spending cut uh, plan. He wants to put the spending cuts on the back of people like me who is a college student and also people who are Medicare and on food stamps. But he wants to still be able to help the military. But why can't he help all, all of us out? I mean, it's hard enough as it is getting the things needed so that we could finalize the mission to all these colleges. You got non-traditional college students trying to go back to school. They may have all, all different college credits. Took the ACT, AC, uh, SAT scores. And those tests cost. Why, even the CLEP exam cost $80. Uh, the ACT uh, test cost about $35. Just to take the ACT, the national one. And, I mean, just to price out somebody from a prospect of trying to get a regular good job. Wow. Unbelievable. So not only that, after I get all those things that are not only the uh, Mass Rehab get, and also Jones get, I'll get it before uh, orientation um um, May 2nd. But this fact of the matter is, I spent almost, um, um, I'm going to be spending $10 between uh, last month and this month. And it's insane. These rules have got to change. You know what? I want to think of a way to change the rules when I become President of the United States. Sometime between now and when, when the campaign really begins, I want to change these emission rules because they're too harsh. In the economy that is lackluster. I mean, why do they have to make it so daggone hard for people to get financial aid? Um, they they are uh, making people out of state sign the uh, statement of financial purpose, uh, statement of educational purpose, where they might have to pay to get a rotary for uh, notary public for people who are out of state. That's why I had to go to a state school because. If I had to do that, I'm not paying for a notary public. I'd rather be there where I could sign the paper and don't have to worry about paying for the notary public because I'll be able to appear where they will be able to, to know that I'm there. I am just so... I, they always needed something, which means mo spending more money and trying to find out how the heck to get more money. I don't, you know what? I don't care what nobody said. I'm going to uh, air my. I have a um, I have a fundraising campaign for college, going to college, and I'm going to get that website, and then I'm going to air my uh, promo on this show because enough is enough. Enough is really enough. Now. I am going to graduate college. I am going to. I am going to be elected into some kind of office. I'm going to be a got citizens of Big D nations for me, then against me, then th those people that that are not even part of the citizens of Big D nation. Because you know what? When citizens of Big D nation rise up, and when we get together, then. You never know what we could do. And wait a minute. I'm only talking. My WBDR errored on me. And and now it's, uh, I guess it's coming back. I don't even know what the heck happened. But, uh, Southern Cowboy SOA, 
Hello. Uh, welcome. Uh, this is just a short show, so I'm just getting ready to end this uh, little bit of rant right about now. I am a little bit frustrated. I, I just found out that not only that, I'm getting ready to go to Ellisville in May, May 2nd, but now I found out that I got to go to Jackson, uh, which is state capital of Mississippi. I couldn't even take their uh, Mississippi uh, rehab test closer to home in Meridian. I gotta go to Jackson to take it. And it's a couple hour test. Wow. So, anyway, this is the big D zone. I don't know, I don't know about you, but, uh, I'm gonna end this iHeartRadio show with a bang. I'm gonna end it with, uh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and then we're gonna come back on the Andy Brown show. But you know what? The whole month is keeping up with the job. Okay. Um, we must have had another solar flare because we both aired once again. But that's okay. It's going to be a short show anyway. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end the uh, iHeart Radio show for today. And I'll come back tomorrow. And hopefully, I will be in better spirits. So... My dream is not dead. My dream is alive. Citizens of Big D Nation, your dreams are still alive. Fight for them. No matter what you do, never give up. Show them that you could do it. Show them that you care about the, the dreams that God placed in you. Keep pushing. You may get upset, you may feel like your spirit is broken, but keep pushing on. Keep fighting on. Because if it has to be all about heart, then daggone it, that's what it's all going to be about heart. If you dream about providing for your family by getting a great job, go for it. If you want to be an entrepreneur, and own your own business. Whatever that business may, may be. Go for it. Nobody is stopping you. Don't let the power that be stop you. Don't let a no break your spirit. If you get angry, if you get hurt. Dust yourself off and try again. Because this is what I have to do. But if you feel yourself that you're going to get hurt or down, dust yourself off and try again. Because you can make it. Say this with me right now. I can make it. And just like I, I played during the Dream Motivational, say this everybody. It is not over until I... When? Matter of fact, before I do play the last song for iHeartRadio, I ain't going to play the Dream Motivational video because you know what? It's time for the millions of people that are listening. And thank you, Andrew, uh, 30 at 12. It's time for the people that are listening to get some motivation. Still look at your dreams and still fight for it. This is the Big D Zone. For the people on the Andy Bond Show and all my affiliates, let's get you night. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. That some of you already know that it's hard. It's not easy. It's hard changing your life. But in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain. There are moments when you're going to doubt yourself and say, God, why, why is this happening to me? I'm just trying to take care of my children and my mother. 
I'm not trying to steal or rob from anybody. How does this have to happen to me? For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. Their rough times are going to come, but they have not come to stay. They have come to pass. Greatness is not this wonderful, esoteric, elusive, God-like creature that only the special among us uh, will ever taste. You know, it's something that truly exists in all of us. It's very important for you to believe that you are the one. Most people, they raise a family, they earn a living, and then they die. They stop growing, they stop working on themselves, they stop stretching, they stop pushing themselves. That a lot of people like you know about them. You want to hang out like them. You want to be just like them. And you know what? You've invested so much time in them, you don't know who you are. I challenge you to spend time by yourself. It's necessary that you get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. When you become the right person, what you do is you start separating yourself from other people. You begin to have a certain uniqueness. As long as you're following other people, as long as you're being a copycat, you will never, ever be the best copycat in the world. But you will be the best you could be. I'm telling you to, to, to find your value. That everybody won't see it. That everybody won't join you. That everybody won't have the vision. It's necessary to know that. That you are an uncommon breed. It's necessary that you align yourself with people and attract people into your business who are hungry. People who are unstoppable and unreasonable. People who are refusing to leave life just as it is and who want more. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams of a people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. If you want to be more successful, if you want to have and do stuff you ain't never done before, number two, I'm asking you to invest in you. Invest in you. Someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. That you don't have to go through life being a victim. And even though you face disappointments, you have to know within yourself that I can do this. Even if no one else sees it for me, I must see it for myself. This is what I believe, and I'm willing to die for it, period. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities. And some of you right now, you want to be, you know what I'm saying? You want to go to the next level. I want to counsel. You know, I want to be an engineer. I want to be a doctor. Listen to me. You can't get to that level. You can't get to the level economically where you want to be until you start investing in your mind. You're not reading books. I'm challenging y'all to go to conferences. I dare you to invest time. I dare you to be alone. I dare you to spend an hour getting to know yourself. When you become who you are, when you become the person that you were created to be, designed to be who you were designed to be, when you become an individual, what you do is you take yourself and you start separating yourself from other people. I tell you to get to a place where people don't like you and don't even bother you no more. Why? Because you're not concerned with trying to make them happy. Because you're trying to walk. You're trying to get to the next level. I need you to invest in your mind. Invest in your mind. If you still talk about your dream, if you still talk about your goal, if you have not done anything, just take the first step. That you can make your parents proud, you can make your school proud, you can touch millions of people's lives, and the world will never be the same again because you came this way. Don't let nobody steal your dreams. After we face a rejection and a no, or we have a meeting and no one shows up, or somebody says, you can count on me, and they don't come through. What if we have that kind of attitude because we possess? Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and saying to yourself, it's not over until I win. You can live your dream.
Went era, okay, in in, in corner of Zoom, and we are back on the Andy Bones show. So, um, uh, I forgot I had another song that I wanted to uh, preview today. Well, not preview, but um, um, but to air today on the Big D Zone, and then I want to uh, end it with uh, Stone Temple Pilots and one of my favorite songs from them, Interstate uh, Love Song. And, uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a good day, or I'll just going to take a break and rest until Saturday. Maybe I'll go to, uh, support another show. But I did 
before this uh, heck of a meeting, uh, I did um, do another. Uh, I did do another um, promo for Simon James, one of his friends. Uh, they have a brand new radio uh, station called Ten Ten Radio on Spreaker.com. So. Uh, if you are listening, looking for another new station that you could also tune into, uh, 1010 Radio is another uh, radio station on Spreaker, and I just did a promo for them today. So if you're also looking for me to do promos, I'll be happy to do that. Like, I got to get my uh, college promo uh, ready to go, because I am going to do that. I'm not going to let nobody stop me, because, face it, I need some help. And the more help that I could get, the better. And I'll probably put that on iHeartRadio as well. So, uh, as soon as I put this song, I put these two songs and I'll get the uh, ending, my uh, usual ending scene uh, ready to go. But wow, what a day. What a meaning, what a day. You know, I thought it was going to turn up something better, but uh, I guess not. Wow. Oh. Where's uh me and my broken heart? Where is that uh that new song that I had? Wow. Okay, it's not there. Okay. Uh this dead air is brought to you by me trying to find the song that I found today. And I was gonna be that was gonna be one of my ending songs. Where is it? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Here it is. Is it? No. Oh, it's all alphabetical order. I mean, this is another frustrating thing. Part about it is, but uh, once I find it and once I play it, it will all go to my um history, and I will not have to worry about that in case I want to play the song again. Thank goodness. So, well. Here, where is the song that I want to play? What? It's not there. The new song. Oh! It's not there. I thought I had the new song with me. Me and my broken heart. Do I have to play, uh, do I have to try to find it and then play it for tomorrow? Where is the song? And I can't find it. That's why I'm glad I've just done the uh, Andy Bounce show, trying to look for the show, and uh, the song, and not on iHeartRadio. <laughs> wow, where is it? Uh, it should be here. I put it into today's talk of things before the end. I was looking all over the place. It was uh, it was under the tag on ours. That's why I hated the, when it's being on alphabetical order. So. I got a couple of uh, songs, including um, including Miley Cyrus as well, and I'm going to end it with. Uh, no, I'm not going to play Miley Cyrus today. I'll, I'll play her uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, because I'm I'm so sad. I don't even know what to do. Wow. Where is my ending part over here? Da da da. This dead air is brought to you by the powers that be. Don't let the powers that be get you down on the big on uh, on the big D zone. <laughs> okay. Well, um, I got the uh, uh, other ending song that I want to end with. So, uh, here we go on the big D zone. I got the new song by Ruxton, "Me and My Broken Heart," and I like I really like this song. And you hear right, it got a it got a cool beat to it, and um, it is it, it's got it's the kind of song that you could party into. So, uh, here's Rex Time, Me and My Broken Heart on the Big D Zone, and followed by that Stone Temple Pilots, and we're gonna close it all out. And then after the uh my theme song, I'm gonna close that out with Simple Plan, So I'm Not Perfect, just like what this meaning was. So, here we go. Whoa. All I need is a little love in my life. All I need is a little love in the dark. A little but I'm hoping it might kickstart. Me and my broken heart. I need a little love tonight. Hold me 
so I'm not falling apart A little bit, I'm hoping it might get start Me and my broken heart, yeah Shotgun, in that my heart, you got one Tear me apart in the sun How do we call this love?
Well, I'm ending this short show a little bit early, but I'd like to welcome, came a little late to, to the party, but my campaign manager and the best speech writer ever in the 2016 campaign, and his name is David, host of the Icebreaker Support Show. He's another iHeartRadio brother. I would like to welcome uh, and thanks for listening to Big D, uh, the Big D Zone, Andrew, Zodiac 12, and Once Pure, Southern Cowboy SOA, with the chat room earlier, and the ally of Big D Country. He is none other than the owner of the Andy Bond Show, Andy Bond. And I would like to thank all of you for listening to the Big D Zone, no matter what I've been going through. That's why I still love to put on a show for you. And I do it even though I get hurt, my spirits get crushed. But you know what? We go on. And we move on. So... We never quit. We are citizens of Big D Nation, that got it. And we will rise to any occasion. We will rise to any challenge. We get knocked down. But you know what? They will see us rise again. They will never, ever stop the citizens of Big D Nation. This is a big D nation unite. Together, we will win this battle. And together, we will defeat those that say that we can't do anything. And we will defeat those that say that we will never reach our dreams. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the home of the best fans ever. Citizens of Big D Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the home of Big D Country. And you guessed it, this is the Big D Zone. Good night, everybody. See you. And we're going to end it after my initial theme music. We're going to end it with simple plans.
I forgot to mention, before I do that, I'd like to welcome home, even though it's a little bit late, I'm getting ready to end the show. I would like to welcome home the dynamic duo of John, Jonathan, and Sarah. Uh, I'd like to say welcome, uh, even though I'm getting ready to end the show. Uh, but I forgot to mention, due to the fact that I will be going to my orientation at Jones uh, County Junior College on May the 2nd, uh, there will be no show on that day. Uh, there will be no show on that evening. However, I am going to do a pre-orientation show on the 1st. Uh, either the 1st or, um, I think it was April 30th or April 31st. Let me check and see here on the counter here. Uh, yeah, uh... 
if I don't do the show on the th the third, uh, I mean on the first, which is on a Friday, no, the first is on the Thursday. I will do a show on the thirtieth. So there will be no show on the second. It will be my orientation at Jones Community uh, Junior College. Um, I gotta be at the tour at one o'clock. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing the uh, orientation at three, and then I am going to be doing the uh, I'm going to be doing the testing at uh after, right after. So it's going to be a long, long afternoon, and uh, I you know I really want to do my best uh, when I perform for the best fan ever in the history of the uh, internet radio today. So, um. Oh, by the way, if you ever want to be in my private chat room, here's the way that you could you must email me because I must approve you to be on the uh, on the chat. So, uh, if you want to be in my private chat room, then email me right away, which is d e s h o n p o r t e r one at gmail dot com. That's d e s h o n P O R T E R the number one at gmail dot com. That is how I am going to prove all my citizens uh, that will be in my private chat. So uh, have a good night, everybody, and tomorrow will be a better day. And let's get let's get all of our spirits up. So this is the big D zone. I am. Ooh.